Greetings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. He is the living one. He's the promised one from the Old Testament. He's all powerful in the midst of what we face. I hope you and I will rely on him and let him guide us through this perfect storm, this pandemic. We so, so need him. Our governor was on yesterday telling us that we need to stay safe and stay at home. I hope we'll pay attention to that order. May you and I be praying for him and all those in government and in authority. May we be praying for all those in the hospitals and care centers, those who are taking care of us, even those in our own homes. May we pay attention to what's going on and how serious this thing is. And may we pay attention to what we've been asked to do. We're so busy and involved in life, it's hard to be quiet and settle down. We need to do that. We have some prayer requests that have come in. Heather's sister working in the hospital. Her parents uh, have neighbors that they've known for a long, long time who need our prayer. Noah King and his sister. Tina Turner's sister in Oregon has cancer and it's returned. Ray, who runs our PA, his dad's doing better. Melissa Harmon, who has cancer, it's returned. JR, one of our own who works in Kansas City, has been exposed. We're very, very pleased that Brenda Dykus is free of cancer and got that great report. Kathy G sent us a thank you note. Thank you all for your prayers as my church family. Thank you for calling me and checking on me. I miss you, so true for all of us. We want to get together. This way we can. I miss you, says, I love you, Kathy. We have some birthdays that we can share together in today. Uh, Aurora F., Joan W., she's a shut-in, Marty Bruton, Bob Schnook, and then the Cokers have a wedding anniversary, 54 years. I hope you can celebrate at home and enjoy these special, special things in people's lives that bring joy to us. I want to encourage all the callers to keep calling. We need to keep calling, keep praying for, keep encouraging each other in these days. We've canceled the deacons meeting and the trustees meeting because of honoring what our governor has said, but also because we need to play it safe. We don't want anybody in harm's way. We will continue streaming our services through YouTube. Heather's been helping us with that in a big, big way. Continue these services with us. We will have Sunday school and worship on Sunday, Wednesday, Bible study and prayer updates on the things I've just shared with you. You have been very, very generous in your giving. Please keep helping us. It keeps the church going as a family. You're helping with home missions in Canada and the United States. Uh, we're reaching out to people and helping them through your giving. Today, Jim and I will go and visit a family who needs some help. She works at a care center. So thank you for your kind, kind giving. I've been overwhelmed. Today is Palm Sunday, as you've already heard. In the midst of that, we will be having the Lord's Supper, remembering that last week. Be sure and have your Bible out to look at Psalm 71 and Isaiah 53. Have your wafer and your grape juice handy so we can share together in the Lord's Supper. As you know, I feel very strongly about the Lord's Supper and what a blessing it can be to you and me as we look at ourselves, examine ourselves, confess our sins, and share with Him. Share now with us in worship time. God's best to you. 